channel. It is a channel about how to play instruments. I know it's called how to. Um, I think it's colon. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's colon instruments, and that's how to basically it stands for how to play these instruments. And um, in fact, we have an instrument right here today called a mouth harp, also called by a jaw harp. This one is, um, I believe, it's called a musician's jaw harp. It is a very, very, very old instrument. Well, not this one in particular. This is a modern version of it. But the original ones were created out of wood, and you couldn't play it as much as well as these ones, which is our modern counterpart. And so, uh, sorry there, but, um, yeah, you play these, they're called many things around the world. They're called a jaw harp, mouth harp, Jews harp, which is the official name for them, Jews harp. And I don't really know where they got the name from, but, you know, whatever. So, um... I'm going to explain how these things are, like, the parts of the instrument. So, this right here is called the frame, right here, this little loopy loop thingy. And um, the little thin piece inside of it is called a thwanger, or a tongue, as other people want it. Or it goes by numerous other names. But I'm not going to get too far into that, because there's, like, mm, thousands of different names you can call for a little thwanger inside of it. But today I should be calling it a thwanger. So, that is how it is structurally built, and um, how you play this thing is um, the little thin piece right here in the middle, as you can see it vibrates, and whenever it vibrates, um, you put this in your mouth, now you don't want to put your mouth like, you don't do like that, you um, press it by putting it up against your teeth, so, if you guys want to know an easy trick, besides if you guys just started doing these, like playing these, and you can't get the position right every time, you take the pinky, and you put it sideways, and then you put that in your mouth, and don't even bite down on it, just, just gently put your teeth on your on the top of your pinky, and you do that, and you have a perfect little space in between your teeth, and so you do that, put your uh, finger right here in the, on your teeth, you want to hurt, like, kind of hurt a little hard against your teeth. And then whenever you do that, sorry, um, you put your lips over the front of it. And the more that you put your lips over it, not fully covering it, if you fully cover it, it's going to be pretty painful because these things smack your teeth. And, um, when you put this over your teeth, you, um, or whenever you put your lips over the frames, you um, get a more better flowing sound. You get like a more let's have some more fuller sound. You get a more more bolder sound. There we go. And whenever you do that, you um you uh, put it right here. I already know the position to put it in. So yeah. And most people hold it like so. You hold it like this, and um, a lot of people say you hold it with your dominant, your non-dominant dominant hand. But for me, I feel more comfortable playing with my dominant hand. So, if you guys are more comfortable playing with your dominant hand or non-dominant hand, whichever one you're comfortable playing, I suggest you playing it with your most comfortable hand. And so, you want to put it in between your teeth and put your lips over it. Not too, not too deep. And then you want to go. And when you get that really clear note, you, uh, I call those a tone. And a tone is whenever you just produce that single sound where it's a. And basically you just want to. Basically, sorry. Um, you um, move your tongue around inside of your mouth. But um, you move your tongue around inside of your mouth. And that's what produces the different tones. And actually right there, you just got a hint of a thing called a vocal, which I just call them that. And I call them a vocal because you use your vocal cords, where there's a muscle. I think it's called a diet. 
No, it's not. I don't think so. I was about to say a diatome, but I think that's something completely different. I'm not sure, though. Correct me in the comment section below. And, um, basically, you want to use this muscle that's above your belly button. There's a muscle that is above your belly button that helps your lungs push the air out and do your, uh, on the esophagus and up to your nose and go, or, and in this case, you're going to be blowing it out of your mouth, your carbon dioxide. And, um, you can also breathe in, but it doesn't sound as cool, but there's a little trick I'll show you here in a minute. Um, but anyways, whenever you do that, you get a, um, uh, uh, vocal, and it's uh, where you have the air go past through your throat, sorry, and it goes into your throat, and where your um, tongue and esophagus meet up at, you can tense the muscle, the back muscle, or you can loosen the muscle. And um, whenever you do that, you get a more clear, ooh, like a ooh type of tone. Not a boing wing, it's a ooh. And whenever that happens, you can get really, really good um, types of, I don't know what you call them, rhythms in there. And um, when you do that, you get this. And um, if you guys want to know tutorials on how to play some songs with those, I will show you some tutorials later on. Probably tomorrow or the day after that. A tutorial of how to play some certain songs with these with Joe Harp. Um, but when you do that, you um can create a vocal. But you can also create an air tone, which is a kind of like a mix between the vocal and the tone. But you're also breathing through your belly button muscle thing jigger that helps you push out air and um without being painful and um by the way I haven't really studied too much on a human anatomy so don't question me on this so um all I know is it's a muscle above your belly button and um basically you do that and you can get this type of note and whenever you keep on playing that you can get a really cool kind of like a I don't know if you want to call it a banjo or a guitar. One of the two, you get a really cool kind of combo sound where it's like a duga 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 And whenever you do that, it you can you can be using it in some certain songs, which I'll be showing you, like I said, in a few days or tomorrow. And so whenever you do that, you get. And, um, basically, if you try really hard and practice a lot with that, you'll get much more better at this little instrument. But there's also a little thing I, you probably have been saying, um, or hearing, which is, uh, it's gonna hurt. Mmm. That hurt. If you ever, ever get that sound, correct what you're doing, because you're doing something wrong. And as you just heard there, um, your teeth, whenever you flip this bar, it vibrates back and forth. And um, it hits your tooth and it hurts really, really bad. And your body just says, yo, something's not up. Take it out of your mouth or do something. And um, basically, it hurts. And um, it hits that, that nerve. It travels through your tooth and hits the nerve of your tooth, like right here. And, um, it, uh, hurts. Just it, some of it hurts. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, which I hope you guys did, um, comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Or on this video. You know. And then whenever you subscribe, click the little bell icon so you can get notified every time I do one of these tutorials of how to play or how to play an instrument so you guys can be informed of how to do these things also I have a young uh, I have a feller that you should check out which I learned a lot of how to play these at um, 
there's two people. I'll put them in the description after I'm done making the video. And um, one of them's called Nad Nadasha or Nadisha. I, I forget. And he's been playing. He's been playing jaw harps and mouth bows for a long time. He's a cool dude. Go check him out. He is the one who really I really learned about these from. But the first time I ever heard about these from was Lindsay or Lindsay something Polak. He does a bunch of instruments that shouldn't be instruments, but he does them anyway. So basically, he's law. He's breaking the law of music, yeah. taking vegetables and such, and making them to full-on instruments. So go check him out. I will put his channel in the description as well. Also, with the person who I learned how to play these from, if you guys want to go check out his channel and see how to play these and more well, better quality. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you in a few days.